Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bitch One. And today, Bitch Tries, I'm gonna be trying some beauty hacks. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that like button and also comment something. And also hit the subscribe button. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I think you kind of like that. Yeah. All right, so she's prepping her eyebrows before going in. We don't have that brush, we gotta use sponges. So we're gonna use a little sponge instead. All right, so she's applying latex over her face and she puts foundation and she peels it off. This is a good Halloween gag. This personally gives me PTSD from Blade Brothers Dragula season two. I won that season and my very first look I did was for a Cinnabite challenge. It was a horror based challenge so I needed a stunt with a really cool prosthetic. So I went home and I applied latex all over my body. I did head to toe. I was very naked. I was in that makeup for over 18 hours. Not on top was that was, was latex body burns. It was lube over top as well as blood, spray paint, because I literally was on such a shoestring budget trying to make this work. But yeah, every time I approach latex, I smell it and I have PTSD all over my body. So I've not touched her in a minute, but here she is. This is liquid latex. She's super fun. So I have uh, Vaseline right here. We need this because we're gonna protect our eyebrows with it. That way if a little latex gets in there, it's not gonna rip out our whole eyebrow. And we're gonna put it on our eyebrow. We're gonna do the same to the other one. And I'm also gonna do my hairline too, because I don't want this to pull out my edges. You definitely wanna kinda of pull your hair back for this. Now you're gonna get yourself a little plate. Pour the latex on the plate. Uh, just this because I got arm hair and I don't want my arm hair to get stuck with the latex and that's a bitch and a half. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a sponge, take the bigger, thicker side, and you're gonna spread it and make it thin. And this is gonna be your application. It's a good thing I put Vaseline because I already got in my hair. The trick is to work in layers, uh, thin, thin, thin layers. If you do a big gloop, it's gonna take a while for it to dry down. So that's why you like using the plate so I can swirl it around and make it a little thinner on the sponge before I apply it. You definitely don't wanna use a makeup brush to apply this. This will ruin your makeup brush. She has a special tool in the video. It's a silicone based tool that you can kind of like peel it off easy. Okay, Guile, we're just gonna let this dry. When it's a completely clear and see-through, that's when you know it's completely dry. Now, I didn't have her little special tool, so I might be looking a little lumpy. We're gonna apply some foundation. I'm gonna use a beauty blender. The latex is a lot more smoother than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be really lumpy. It's looking pretty fucking smooth. Now I'm taking concealer. I'm gonna bring some life back into my face. And now we gotta set the face. Or brush away the excess. What kind of corn saw? We're gonna add some blush. That shadow is so pretty. This is the pink lip. I think it's gonna pull together the look in, in the most atrocious way. I 
think this is missing something, so I'll be right back in three, two, one. Ooh, yes, I think this completes the look, baby. Hmm, what's that, Diva? You want me to peel off the mug? Okay. Oh, oh my God. Let's go on to the next hack. The girl, pause. The beginning of this video, this woman has eight brushes and she's like, what the best way to get perfect brows? Maybe if you didn't just try to like have all your tentacles and just do all that, what are you doing? She rubs it all over her brow and she wipes away the excess with a, a Q-tip and she spoolies it up. Those are too dark for her face and her hairline. Those brows are way too dark and warm. Hopefully this one matches pretty well. We'll see how this does. So this is a brow cream some. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna comb this product through our brows. This, this looks horrible. God damn, that looks like a woolly mammoth. I'm gonna try to clean it up with this right here. I don't got Q-tips around me. This looks bad. I don't think this product works. I'm not here for it. Let me try to calm it through with like a spoolie with no product. Whoever said this looks good lied to them. This product sucks. I would never use this to purchase it. I would just use a pencil or a pomade that is made for your brows. See, this is a thumbs down for me. I've seen these things. They stain your skin and then you peel it off and it's like, Woo! Just take Kool-Aid powder and put it on your face. It will do the same thing. Girl, this is crazy. Guess she can blend it out. I have two of them. I have an orange and a watermelon. Oh, what the f Well, you put it on and it stains your skin. Let's see how we do this. Let's try orange here. We're gonna go wild melon on the lips. Am I a pretty girl? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I think it's kind of peeling. I'm gonna peel it off now. Y'all ready? I'm gonna wipe it away with a wet rag. Let's try that. Let's wipe away the orange now. I'm gonna start with this cheek, I think. Oh, it looks like I was eating a Kool-Aid pop and just left it on my face. That's kind of pretty. Oh, it's kind of blending around too. I really like that. I'll try to peel this side instead of wiping it away. All right. Let's try to blend it out. Oh, this orange blush is so beautiful. I need to get more orange blushes. I don't know about my lips, but I like it for my cheeks. Do you think I look hot? Let me know in the comments below. I look like I got in a fight with popsicles and I lost. I think this is a thumbs up product. All right, don't mind me. I just did a lot of hackalations, so I'm gonna re-moisturize my face because my face is mad at me. We did a lot of stuff on it today. Well, what was your favorite part? I wanna know in the comments below. And what would you like to see me try next time? Maybe spreading mayonnaise all over my face will help. This is not mayonnaise, this is moisturizer, but maybe we could try that beauty hack. Thank you for spending your afternoon, evening, or morning with me. Or you know what, if you're in that parallel plane in between both universes, thank you for taking your time and spending it with me as well. I'm Bitch Pudding, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, little bitches. Otherwise, you won't be a little bitch anymore. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, bye, fuckers.